He's a musical pioneer from Montana. Chan Romero has the unique distinction of being the first Latino elected to the Rockabilly Hall of Fame, most known for his hit song that he wrote as a teenager that has endured for well over a half century. I had a chance to chat with Chan about his career and growing up right here in Billings. Positively Montana is sponsored by Yellowstone Valley Electric Cooperative. Well, how are you? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? It's not every day you get to talk to a music legend, one who grew up right here in Billings. I was a shoe shiner, and I sold uh, the Billings Gazette. Even if you haven't heard of Chan Romero, it's a good bet you've heard at least one of his songs. Well, uh, all my brothers played guitar and sang uh, country music. And uh, I just kind of took it over from them. And when he first heard a guy by the name of Elvis sing Hound Dog, he says it struck him like a bolt of lightning. Yeah, Elvis had a strong uh, effect on me. Uh, I just, it just took me over. And I said, this is what I want to do. So in 1958, after getting out of school for the summer at Billings Senior, Chan hitchhiked to Los Angeles with big dreams. <laughs> That was quite a risk. What did your family think about that? I didn't tell them. I just took off. <laughs> <laughs> it was there at the age of 17 that he wrote the Hippie Hippie Shake, the song he's most known for of all the songs he's recorded. It was a uh, really exciting one. Delphi Records uh, recognized uh, my talent. Bob Keen picked me up signed me to his label. He's the one that signed uh, Richie Vellens and then hit, had the big hit, uh, Donna and La Bamba. The hippie hippie shake zoomed to number three on the charts in 1959 in Australia. Well, it didn't chart for Chan in the U.S., it got plenty of attention from other musicians, like these guys. It's amazing, especially... Uh, when I heard uh, that uh, Paul McCartney picked it up and uh, it became uh, one of his, uh, him and the Beatles, one of their very favorites. Tell me the story about the Hippie Shake song of yours, would you? Sure, son. You gotta... And while Chan has continued to perform up until just the last few years, he admits he doesn't play much now. He recorded this version of the Hippie Hippie Shake with European rocker Zalimer a while back that was just released this January for the 65th anniversary of the song. The song has been covered by dozens of other artists over the years, as well as being included in several films. Despite its enduring popularity, Chan's daughter says he no longer receives anything from royalties, and a bill to make it Montana's official state rock and roll song failed to pass the legislature in 2019. But regardless, Chan Romero will take his place as one of the greatest musicians to ever come out of Montana. Uh, it didn't turn out like I thought I would, but it turned out. 